Good evening, afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. Mm-hmm. I'm Mitch. I'm Travis. This is Candidate, Candidate at the, the movies. movies. And today we'll be reviewing the Will Smith film, King Richard. Mm-hmm. The good story about Richard Williams, or how the rest of the world knows him, Venus and Serena's daddy. Travis, mm-hmm. no, you didn't get to finish the movie. Yeah, you know. So I'll take the lead on this one. Go ahead. You know, sleep happens. <laughs> so King Richard is, like I said, is about Venus and Serena Williams' dad and how his determination and his will willed his daughters into being the champions that they are today. Notably, mm-hmm. the two of the greatest tennis players of all time. Some would say Serena is the greatest p- tennis player of all time. Uh, so it starts off, the kids are about 13, 14. Yeah. And he is on them. They, they live, growing up in Compton, and their dad is, he's hard on them. Mm-hmm. But when I say hard on them, I'm not talking about he out here beating on these kids. Not at all. He just has this level of expectations that he's set aside as a game plan with his wife. This is how we're going to build these tennis stars. They're going to have to listen to me. I'm going to teach them, and we're going to get them where, they want, where we want them to go so that they can be the stars they are. So that means practicing in the rain. And they're not at a country club. They're at a local park in Compton. So it's gang members... All that is going on around. They're practicing. They have five kids. Yeah. Venus, Serena, Tundi, and I can't remember the other two girls, but I didn't know they had that many kids. I knew they had one other sister, and she got killed in the game. She yeah, went. I remember that. Yeah. They didn't get that far, and I'm glad they didn't put that in yeah. there. Um. But the overall story was just trying to, you know, building up their father to be, you know, to to have, when you have a, a male perspective in, in your household and he's leading and you, and you listen to him and how, how good it can turn out. Not saying it always will be great, but it's always good to have that kind of perspective. Yeah. As an overall movie, I thought it was really good. It, it kept my attention. Um, the... The actors and actresses that were playing, excuse me, Venus and Serena, yeah, they looked just like them, like they were going to grow up to look just like them. Yeah, especially when they were having the beads in their hair. Exactly. It was very shocking because they looked really like them. And I even, they even, the way they played looked like their style of play. Right. So I don't know what kind of training they had in there, but it looked very good. Will did pretty good. I, I wasn't mad. I still hate when Will does these these accents. Oh, you're not a fan of the Will accents? That no. Everyone so loves and feel like he deserves to get these Oscars. No, for? no, no. I hate these accents. <laughs> he can't, and then he was trying to be country and hood at the same time. So feats. That didn't he work. never would say feet or foot. It's feats. Oh, I was like, shut up, please. Don't talk. <laughs> And Will was a great actor, so of course he did his part. He did his thing. That's what Will does. True, true. Um, the girls, I think they stole the show. Oh, yeah. They acted their butt off. I wish it was more focused on them, more of a movie on them. Like, Will could have been like a like a supporting actor more so, and then not be fully featured on him. Even though it's called King Richard, yeah. I would have loved more of a movie on those girls, honestly. I actually preferred it this way really? for the first movie. Okay, Like, they can still have a Venus and Serena movie later on, or sure. they can even have it as a part two and it runs into that. Okay. So that you also get yourself off King Richard. Yeah. But I think he, the, the story of the black father being in his kids' lives yeah. and showing how it can be a positive was a very important story to tell. Very and so true. I I appreciated it. I liked it. Yeah. Um as an overall, I would recommend seeing this. And 
even if your kids are of age where they can actually understand and it doesn't have to be a cartoon or a silly movie, yeah. this is something I would look, let your kids see. Yeah. You'll see how he had, there were sharks in the water trying to, they saw money and oh, now you want to jump in. But when I came to you and offered you the opportunity to jump in on the front line, then it was, oh no, you're crazy. Well, let me show you how crazy I am. Yeah. When I get these stars up and then I turn your, I don't care how much money you throw at us, I can turn it down. Yeah. So, overall, great movie. <laughs> Wasn't disappointed. I like the fact that it was, it was, they took a lot of key points in Venus and Serena's lives with their dad. Yeah. And reenacted those parts, like interviews that really happened. And he had to go through them and quote them verbatim. I like that. Um, didn't realize until after I watched the movie that Venus and Serena were producers on it. But um, what's your final score, though, man? Overall score, this was a, a B plus in my book. Okay. It didn't have nothing bad other than feats. I couldn't take this, <laughs> but I knew it going into the movie. It was going. I, I ain't liked his accent since uh, what was the other golf movie? The oh, golf. the football movie. Bag of Van- no, Bag of Van- Oh, you hated Bag of Van- <laughs> And they put me right around there. He, mm. I just don't like. It. Um, I would say I pulled a Mitch and I fell asleep a couple times. Um, <laughs> and I would honestly give this movie a B minus. It's a good movie, worth watching. Families will enjoy it, but uh, I just felt like this was very Will Smith Oscar bait. I don't feel like this is his best movie. I still hold up saying that mm, Ali was. One of his better acted movies, and I would also throw up Pursuit of Happiness as his best. Oh yeah, now nah, yeah. I, don't, I don't say this was his best movie. Yeah, he did good. Yeah, he'll get nominations, but I don't think that he should win best actor for mm-hmm. this one. No, I wouldn't be. I would be surprised if he did. Yeah, just because of the overall story, it, and it leaves at the once Venus and them like finally go pro yeah. and she showed the world what she can do mm-hmm. and they know they already know Serena's gonna be a problem but mostly the story was based on Venus' career as yeah, a child yeah it was more on Venus which is cool yeah. but uh, as overall what I really want you to do is to serve that like button smash that, <laughs> that notification <laughs> bar if you haven't then we're going to call a fault if you ain't hit that, that a subscription button. Comment down below. Let me know if you watched the movie, how you felt about it. Once again, I'm Mitch. I'm Travis. Red card. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is Canada at the Movies. Y'all have a great day. Peace. Peace.